up, peeps? Um, <laughs> this is Joe Kroginski here, and I like to show you guys my hat. Um, as you can see, it says Insane Clown Posty on it, aka ICP. Look them up, they're like a rapping band, but uh, don't be surprised if you hear some cussing, because that's what I do a lot of cussing. Because I have it. Okay. I'm gonna do this quickly too, but you have and this is like all the Joker cards, which is kind of why I like it. It's not actually Joker; it's just what they call them. They all drew these up and like it made albums, and these were on like the covers of the albums. Well, this first one here is the Riddle Box, and then they're all, not the Wraith, the um Great Malenko, the Jack, the Amazing Jackal Brothers. You can hardly see that one, but it's the Ringmaster. And then this one is the Wraith. Um, and the next one is... I forgot his name. I'm going to ask my dad really quick. Yeah, but I forget. Okay, his name is Carnival of Carnage. As you can see, that's him. Actually, no. Come on, I want you to be able to see him. Well, and anyways, that's just the hat that I usually wear in my new video. Uh, I'm making another video of Make a Bounce for Hitler. It's gonna be, um, well, chapter one, part two, because I didn't have enough time to do it last time. So, I'm gonna start. boy's voice. We've already tried to open it. I looked over to him and didn't like it. And, um, I, where was I? Oh. Oh. And then my hand saw a, I don't know that word, of wild hair. There was a trickle of dark on his cheek. Was he bleeding? Using the ridges and the sliding to help the to help me balance in a standing position, I felt a long lever across the door. I pushed it down hard. It moved and sprung back up. But the door didn't open. It's left from the outside, a girl's voice said. I pounded on it again with my fist. Nothing happened. The wild-haired boy looked up at me and said, Even if it did open, what would you do then? Fall out onto the train tracks in the middle of nowhere? I slid back down and sat behind him, beside him, wrapping my arms around my knees and staring at my feet. Was Lisa in a cattle car, this cattle car like this, going somewhere else? How would I find her? What was happening to me? In the dark? Um, I don't know this word. M-O-N-O-T-O-N-Y. No, no. We exchanged names with those who sat closest to us. The wild-haired boy was Luka Baragovich from Kervu. Sitting beside him was Zanina Kaharja, also from whatever that word was, Kavu. Or the girl I had stepped on was Markela. Stashina from Babin, not far from my village of Menarkachuka. I'm just doing it how I think this one. The train 
seam of light around the door frame what was my only marker of time. It dimmed, then darkened. I slept. In that space between day and nightmare, my body swayed with the chug, chug, chug of the box car. One girl chanted players in a voice from crying. Gradually, the seam around the door got light again. The time stretched out in endless minutes. I was hungry, thirsty, hot, and hot. Weren't we all? A second night passed. We would all die in this cable car. A loud screech. A loud. A loud screech, and we came to a halt. Um, just to remind you guys, this is a true story about World War One. The door slid open. I would have fallen out had I. Oh, I would have fallen out had I not grabbed onto Marika, who was curled in frightful sleep on my lap. The sudden daylight hurt my eyes, and the whoosh of cold filled my lungs with what felt like a thousand tiny pins. I dropped myself, I propped myself up and squinted, trying to make sense of what I saw outside the cat car. A young Nazi soldier, his face of rash pimples, pointed a rifle gun at Luca. I opened my mouth to scream, but no sound came out. My mouth and throat were like sawdust. Um. This would suck if it. Mm. Okay. Behind the soldier stood some sort of train depot or maybe a town. I couldn't tell for sure. This. There were wooden buildings that were mostly still standing and sad-looking people miling about. The only signs I could see were written in German. And high-pitched whistling sound was followed by a boom. In the distance, a puff of smoke. Bombs. Stay in there. Russian swine. Screamed the boy soldier in German, jab, jabbing his rifle. And I don't know this word, so M E N A C I N G L Y. Oh, meaningly or something. I don't know. Why was he calling us Russian? We were U Ukrainian, all of us. And why were we pigs? I didn't dare ask. The Nazi turned and moved into somewhere we could not see. A door opened on one of the buildings, and a hollow, jacked woman in rags appeared behind him. Balanced on her shoulders was a long stick with a sloshing pail attached to either end. She paused beside him awaiting for their instructions. He flicked his hand impertinently at her, including indicating that she set the pills aside. Her. Be, be useful or they will kill you. The woman whispered to us, arrogantly and Ukrainian, lifting one pail into our car and pushing it against our legs. It was filled with water. No talking, shouted the soldier. Why did we have to, why did he have to shout? He aimed his rifle at the woman. Her fearful eyes darted to him. 
She lifted up the second bucket of and, no, and Luca grabbed the handle. We all pushed back so there was room to set it on the floor. This bucket was filled with a gray watery sludge. The door changed, clen clenched shut, and we were... I don't know this word, so E-N-G-U-L-F-E-D. In darkness, once again. Me and Neffel or something. The train jolted when... Then picked up speed. Okay. I moved on my hands and knees over to the sludgy pail and sniffed. It had a dank smell that reminded me of the rotting vegetable scraps. Mama would use to fertilize our garden when she still had a home. In other circumstances, the smell might have turned my stomach, might have turned my stomach, but it had been so long since any food had passed my lips that my stomach crumbled. And I dipped one finger in the lucrum. I don't know. I tasted it. This is some sort of soup. There were no spoons or bowls, so we took turns crawling over to the pail and carefully scooping a bit of the monk with cup hands. And the handful that was mine, I could feel a chunk of turnip, turnip with my tongue, but otherwise it was mostly water. I chewed the turnip slowly and swallowed it down. The wet mush feeling like a balm on my dirty throat. My eyes were getting used to the dimness of our car, so I watched the other lined up and swallowed down their me meager share of soup. Marika didn't get in line. She didn't even sit up. I crawled over to her and placed my hand on her forehead. It was cool, too cool to the touch. Food, Marika. You've got to eat. Um, the kids closest to the pail made room for me. And I scooped up as much of the solid bits as I could with my hands. It wasn't easy getting back with the rail car swinging, the darkness, and the other kids. But each time I nearly fell, one of the soldiers would, one of the others would stun me. Luca and Zena propped. Mar Marika up between them. I net knelt the front of her head, my cupped hands to her face. No nose, her nose wrinkle. Perhaps her dreams were more pleasant than the smell of these vile bits of turnip. Her eyes open and she looked down eat the cup she cupped her fingers over mine and drew my hands to her mouth she swallowed a piece of soggy turnip and choked slowly i i held my hands close to her mouth as if she were afraid i wouldn't give her any more but she carefully chewed every bit of turnip and swallowed it down she licked, she licked my fingers, then pushed my hands away and slumped back into Xena exhaust. There were barely any soup left for Luca and Luca, the past in line. We reversed the order 
for the water, so at least Luca got a few good swallows. With with a little bit of food in my stomach and water to wet my lips, I felt stronger. I wondered, I wonder what the woman meant. Be careful, or they will kill you. I asked Luca. We're too young to be of much use in the Nazis. Luca replied. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop there. Um. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will be making another video about this book. And um, leave a comment. Make sure watch out for some more of my videos. Have a good day. Peace.